Hola. No. Kita ke dalam. Zaid tak? Zaid sang. Let's go Zaid. A shuttle landed near your location. Check it out. Here we go. Keep close. Shot in the back and left to rot. That's definitely Vito's style. Let's push her ahead. Hey. Hi, Jack. Command to Bravo. Take a position. Likely these people are not runaways. Hi, Jack. <laughs> this is Commander Santiago. If any of you retreat while the intruders are still alive, I'll kill you myself. Now get the hell back out there. Vito. Sounds like he hasn't changed. I get the feeling you have a past with this, Vito. I knew he was a sadistic bastard back when we started the Blue Suns. We started. The Suns only got me yeah. after he staged his coup yeah. 20 Last years ago. So yeah, we have a past. Why didn't anyone tell me you founded the Blue Suns? Because it's not common knowledge. Vito wiped me out of the records. He I ran see. the books, I led the men. Worked real well for a while. Then Vito decided to start hiring Batarians. Cheaper labor, he said. Goddamn terrorists, I said. 20 years is a long time to hold a grudge. A grudge? Vito turned my men against me. He paid six of them to restrain me while he put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. For 20 years, I've seen that bastard every time I closed my <laughs> eyes, every time I sighted down on a target, every time I heard a gunshot. <laughs> Don't you call that a goddamn grudge? You survived a gunshot to the head? Yeah. And you survived your ship getting disintegrated. A stubborn enough person can survive just about anything. Rage is a hell of an anesthetic. We better get moving. Oh, this... They're at the southern axis. All squads massively down. They know we're here. Bring it on, you son of a bitch! Not yet. Damn it. Oh, 
I'm on. Squad Charlie, Delta, mass of the gatehouse. I'm on, put a sign as here. Zaid Masani, you finally tracked me down. Vito. Don't be stupid, Zaid. I have a whole company of bloodthirsty bastards behind me, ready to kill or be killed on my command. Actually, take your shot. Give my men a reason to put you down like the mad dog you are. Again. That gone nearsighted old friend. Burn you, son of a bitch. You just signed your death warrant, Masani. Opening the gate. We don't sacrifice lives for the sake of the mission. There's always a better way. Like what? Wandering out in the jungle for hours looking for another way in. You want to waste time out here? Go ahead. I'm gonna kill Vito. You're endangering lives and the mission for your own selfish revenge. You really want to do this, Shepard? I ought to knock you the hell out. But thanks to you, we have a burning refinery to save. Let these people burn. Vito dies, whatever the cost. Probably halfway to the shuttle docks by now. You're willing to watch these people die? Damn right I am. We stop to help these people and Vito gets away. And if he gets away, I'm blaming you. I knew this was a mistake. If we're gonna do this, we'd better get to it.
might be useful.
You just cost me 20 years of my life! Ah! Son of a bitch! Oh. Zaid, you alright? The hell do you care? I'm fine. Now come on, get me out of this shithole. your revenge ahead of the mission. How can I trust that you'll be there when we need you? I'll do what I was gonna have paid to do, Shepard. Just don't expect any more than that. Now stop screwing around. Let's go! You put your own goals ahead of the mission. That is not the way this works. I've survived this long watching my own back. No time to worry about anyone else. You're part of a team now, Zaid. There's no way we can do this unless we're all working together. You... you have a point. I'm not done with Vito, but I can put that behind me long enough to get your mission done. Let's get the hell out of here. man wishes to speak to you in the debriefing room, Commander. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Aware that mission is dangerous. Different species react differently to stress. Aware you come by a great deal. Have had other species become attracted to me before. Awkward. Not interested. Wait a minute, Morden. You're just yanking me around, aren't you? Shocking suggestion. Doctor-patient confidentiality, a sacred trust. Would never dream of mockery. Enjoy yourself while possible, Shepard. We'll be here studying cell reproduction. Much simpler, less alcohol and mood music required.
Shepard. Have you got a minute? To yes. Talk? Personal matters on mind, actually. Got call from nephew. Promising geneticist himself. Just turned 16. Got tenure at university. Following in my footsteps. Had to lie about what I was doing. Think he was suspicious. Doesn't matter. Still good to hear his voice. Does anyone in your family know about what you really did for the government? No. No, I'm lying, but won't pry. Salarians curious as a people, but also have social cues. Keep two types of secrets from family. First type, personal or guilt-based. Invite suspicion, exploration, puzzle to be solved. Reward for curiosity, intelligence, drama. Other secrets, more serious. Dangerous, if discovered. Signals discourage curiosity for protection of family. Why wouldn't everyone give clues that their secrets were too dangerous to be uncovered? Not conscious. Social, reflexive body language. Can't fake it. Example. Yawning, perceived as contagious among humans. Subject observes yawn. Sensory input deactivates left periamygdala region. Subject yawns in response. Social empathy. Also works with dogs. Salarian faking signals to discourage curiosity, similar to human faking a yawn. Can try, but... Effectiveness limited. Are you calling him because you're worried we won't make it back? No. Aware survival unlikely, but actually contacted him for family connection. Hard to imagine galaxy. Too many people. Faceless. Statistics easy to depersonalize. Good when doing unpleasant work. For this fight, want personal connection. Can't anthropomorphize galaxy, but... Can think of favorite nephew. Fighting for him. Your nephew got tenure at 16? Is he a genius or a scientific prodigy? No, wait. Don't want to insult him. Yes, uh, but not in manner you meant. Remember, Salarian lives short, mature rapidly by your standards. Don't live much past 40. I'm glad you got to talk to family before we finish this. And I'm glad we talked too, Morden. Honored to be part of this, Shepard. Helped preserve Galaxy before with Genophage. Dirty work. Ethically ambiguous. Problematic. Collector's mission simpler, cleaner. We'll be proud to see it in Morden's Solus biography vid. Unless we all die. Proud posthumously in that case, regardless. Thank you. Shepard, how can I help? I'll let you We'll work. be here if you need me. Shepard. How Have can we I got help? a minute to Later, talk? Later, updating crew dental records. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Passing the elusive man through, Commander. Shepard, we caught a break. I intercepted a distress call from a Torian patrol. They stumbled onto a collector ship beyond the Corliss system. The Torians were wiped out, but not before they crippled the collector vessel. I need you to board that ship and get some hard data on the collectors. Find us a way to get to their home world. Hard to imagine how a Turian patrol could take out a collector's ship. Reports indicate the hull's intact, but all systems seem to be offline. They could be making repairs as we speak. I'm not saying it won't be dangerous, but we can't let an opportunity like this slip by. If they had a patrol out there, why aren't the Turians sending a recon team in? They will, eventually. But I intercepted the transmissions. In the meantime, we're feeding them false reports. You're close enough that you can be in and out before the Turians learn the truth. You sure this information's good? Information is my weapon, Shepard. It's good. Send me the coordinates and I'll take care of it. Already sent. Once you're aboard the ship, establish an uplink with Edie. She'll mine their data for information regarding the Omega-4 relay. Good luck, Shepard. Coordinates punched in. Let's go find us a collector ship.
idea of a visual on the collector ship, Commander? Very low emissions. Passive infrared temperatures suggest most systems are offline. Thrusters are cold. That thing is massive. How the hell did the Turians take it out? Radar scans do not detect any hull breaches on the side facing us. I detect no Mass Effect field distortions. It appears the drive core is offline. Rendezvous in 30 seconds, Commander. Good luck. Freaked out by this? Looks like a giant insect hive. Penetrating scans have detected an access node to uplink with collector data banks. Marking location to your hard suit computer. Shepard, I've compared the ship's EM signature to known collector profiles. It is the vessel you encountered on Horizon. Maybe the defense tower softened it for the Turians. The missing colonists might be aboard. If they're still alive. Empty. Otherwise, just like the ones on Horizon. Can't imagine it. Trapped in these pods, completely controlled by the Collectors. My god. What happened here? Ugh. Why would the Collectors just leave a pile of bodies lying around? Probably test subjects. Just tossed them out when they were done with them. There are worse things than death, like being a test subject for twisted aliens. I know you're right, but it doesn't make me feel any better. This galaxy never gets any brighter, does it? They experiment on one of their own. Edie, I'm uploading the data from this terminal. See if you can figure out what they were up to. Data received. Analyzing. The collectors were running baseline genetic comparisons between their species and humanity. Are they looking for similarities? I have no hypothesis on their motivations. All I have are the preliminary results. They reveal something remarkable. A quad-strand genetic structure identical to traces collected from ancient ruins. Only one race is known to have this structure, the Protheans. My god. The Protheans didn't vanish. They're just working for the Reapers now. These are no longer Prothean Shepherd. Their genes show distinct signs of extensive genetic rewrite. The Reapers have repurposed them to suit their needs. You'd think somebody would have picked up on this. No one has had an opportunity to study a collector genetic code in this detail. I've already matched 2,000 alleles to recorded fragments. This collector likely descends from a Prothean colony in the Styx Theta Cluster. But there are signs of extreme alteration. Three fewer chromosomes. Reduced heterochromatin structure. Elimination of superfluous junk sequences. Reapers didn't wipe out the Protheans. They turned them into monsters and enslaved them. Still, they're working for the Reapers now, and we have to stop them. Damn straight, they're not doing that shit to us. Let's find what we need before the Collectors come to salvage this vessel. Move out.
On the ceiling. More of those pods. Must be hundreds. Wonder how many have people in them. Too many. I detect no signs of life in the pod, Shepard. It is probable the victims inside died when the ship lost primary power. ship dogging me for two years? Way beyond coincidence. Something doesn't add up, Commander. Watch your back. Something doesn't smell right. There's no collectors around, living or dead. Edie, I'm setting up a bridge between you and the collector ship. See if you can get anything useful from the databanks. Data mine in progress, Shepard. Can't be good. Everyone's all right, Joker. What just happened? Major power surge. Everything went dark, but we're back up now. I managed to divert the majority of the overload to non critical systems. Shepard, it was not a malfunction. This was a trap.
you've regained control of the platform, Shepard. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Edie. I always work at optimal capacity. Did you get what we needed? I found data that would help us successfully navigate the Omega-4 relay. I have also found a Turian distress call that served as the lure for this trap. The Collector's would source. It is unusual. It seems logical to me that they would have sent the initial message as bait. No, it is unusual because Turian emergency channels have secondary encryption. It is corrupted in the message. It is not possible that the elusive man would believe the distress call was genuine. Why are you so sure? I found the anomaly with Cerberus detection protocols. He wrote them. He knew it was a trap? Why would he send us into a trap? We don't have time to throw blame around. We'll question him when we're out. Shouldn't have trusted those Cerberus bastards. Uh, Commander, we got another problem. The Collector ship is powering up. You need to get out of there before their weapons come online. I'm not losing another Normandy. I do not have full control of their systems. I will do what I can. Sending coordinates for shuttle extraction. Come on, let's move.
work. from the right.
Commander. We have to go. You heard the man. Everybody on to the Normandy. Move! Strap in, people! I'm gonna make him work for it this time. Shepard, looks like Edie extracted some interesting data before the collector ship came back online. Edie told us the distress call originated from the collectors. You betrayed us, just like I knew you would. We're at war. The collectors are taking humans, and every minute we waste is one more we give the enemy to prepare. I know the stakes, but we're supposed to be on the same side, and I can't trust you. Without that information, we don't reach the Collector homeworld, and you and every other human may as well be dead. It was a trap, but I was confident in your abilities. And don't forget Edie. The Collectors couldn't have anticipated her. You could have told me the plan. You say I'm important, but you sure try hard to get me killed. I needed the Collectors to believe they had the upper hand. Telling you could have tipped them off in any number of ways. Besides, I wouldn't have sent you in if I didn't think you could succeed. I don't risk people. There are always alternatives. You may not like being on the receiving end, neither would I. But the facts are with me. As much as we try to avoid them, these decisions need to be made. But more importantly, it paid off. Edie confirmed our suspicions. The Reapers and Collector ships use an advanced identify friend foe system that the relays recognize. All we need to do is get our hands on one of those IFFs. I was just on the Collector's ship. Why didn't you say anything about finding their IFF? As I said, Edie just confirmed it. Besides, you wouldn't have had time to find and extract it. But we have options. An Alliance science team recently determined that the Great Rift on the planet Clendigan is actually an impact crater from a mass accelerator weapon. A very old mass accelerator. I sent a team to find either the weapon or its target. They found both. The weapon was defunct, but it helped us plot the flight path of the intended target. A 37 million year old derelict reaper. We found it damaged and trapped in the gravity of a brown dwarf. Aren't brown dwarfs basically stars that didn't quite make it? Simply put, but accurate. They're gas giants that don't quite have the masses of stars. Expect gale force winds and extremely high temperatures. The Reaper has a mass effect field that keeps it in orbit, likely an automated response to the external threats. It's stable, but I won't call it safe. I saw what Sovereign did to the Citadel fleet. Hard to imagine anything could stop something that powerful. This vessel is a relic from a battle waged while mammals took their first steps on Earth. There's no trace of the species that took the shot. Perhaps it was their one moment of defiance before being wiped out. I get the feeling this isn't going to be a simple swing by and pick up our package. We lost contact with Dr. Chandana's team shortly after they boarded. Initial reconnaissance revealed no clues, and it was too risky to commit more resources. 
Now we need that IFF. I'll forward the coordinates to Joker. In the meantime, I suggest you tell your crew I didn't risk their lives unnecessarily. It will make things easier going forward. Edie, tell the crew to assemble. We've got a lot to talk about. Of course, Shepard. So the elusive man didn't sell us out. Could have fooled me. Lied to us, used us, needed access to the collector data bags. Necessary risk. There really wasn't any other choice. Let's just hope this IFF works. My analysis is accurate, Shepard. I have also determined the approximate location of the Collector homeworld based on navigational data from their vessel. That can't be right. Better run the diagnostics, Joker. Looks like our AI's got a bug in the software. My calculations are correct. The Collector homeworld is located within the galactic core. Can't be. The core is just black holes and exploding suns. There are no habitable planets there. Could be an artificial construction. Space station protected by powerful mass effect fields and radiation shields. Even the Collectors don't have that kind of technology. The Collectors are just servants of our real enemy. And we've all seen what their masters are capable of. They built the mass relays and the Citadel. Who's to say they can't build a space station surrounded by black holes? No wonder nobody's ever returned from a trip through the Omega-4 mass relay. The logical conclusion is that a small safe zone exists on the far side of the relay, a region where ships can survive. Standard relay transit protocols would not allow safe transport. Drift of several thousand kilometers is common and would be fatal in the galactic core. The Reaper IFF must trigger the relay to use more advanced encrypted protocols. This thing is our best shot at getting through the Omega-4 relay. We have to try. It's a derelict Reaper. What if the Collectors are waiting for us? We may want to build up our team before we take that kind of risk. The more people we have on our side, the better our chances of success. We need to keep building up the team. It's your call, Commander. Whatever you decide, we're with you. Shepard, how can I have you got a having trouble talk? working between your interruptions? Anything else? I'll let you. We'll work. be here if you need me. I hope we can clear up what's going on with the Gurns. But was there anything else? Just eager to get going. Let's just talk for a bit. You've got a good thing, Shepard. Let's not push. We'll talk it. later. Shepard. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. 